Hey, what's up everyone, TJ here. In this video, I'm gonna highlight my top five all-mountain freestyle snowboard picks, or what I like to call do-it-all type snowboards from the last couple seasons of reviews. Let's get into the video. So for me, a do-it-all snowboard is something that's gonna be very versatile and capable for exploring the entire resort, but isn't gonna make a compromise when it comes to freestyle and park-focused riding as well. And the first snowboard I wanna highlight is the Battalion Whatever. I put the whatever on this list for more intermediate riders looking for something that they can progress with, or for those of you that might be looking for a more playful option that's still very versatile. And one of the things I really like about this snowboard is that it has a directional outline, so it has a slightly longer nose outside the front contact points to give it a slight benefit in soft snow or powder snow, but still gonna feel and ride like a true twin on hard pack, so it's still very freestyle friendly. You're gonna find the staples from Battalion in this snowboard, which is a full positive camber profile, giving the board a more energetic feel, as well as their triple base technology, which is a 3D base shape in both the nose and the tail of the snowboard, uplifting both the base and edge on the sides of the snowboard, making the board very catch free, giving it a smooth edge to edge transition, and also giving it a slight benefit in soft snow, helping to displace that snow a little bit more efficiently. You're gonna find some carbon built into this snowboard to help maximize the pop and energy that you can get out of it. And overall, this is a very freestyle friendly snowboard. It's got a buttery feel to it, super fun for flat ground type tricks. You can get some nice flex out of it as well if you're trying to do more technical rail tricks. And it's gonna be a lot of fun for just all around park laps and freestyle focused riding. Whether you're trying to hit rails or progress on jumps, this is a board that's gonna have your back. For you more intermediate riders, I think this board's gonna offer some nice stability and have a capable feel exploring the entire resort. But if you're more experienced, this is a board that you can find the limits of if you start to push it. So if you like the sound of this snowboard, but you're looking for something with a little more stability and a little bit more of a powerful feel to it, you could consider the Battalion Goliath. That's another one that I spent a lot of time on. It's a really fun all mountain focused board that's gonna be fun in the park as well but it's gonna have a little bit of a stiffer flex and offer a little bit more stability. And the next snowboard I wanna highlight is the Capita Super DOA. This one's gonna be a little bit more aggressive and is one of the more stable snowboards on this list overall. It's extremely versatile and it's one of those boards that I just really enjoy every time I ride it, no matter where I take it. It's super fun and versatile in the park and very capable for all mountain exploring as well. This one's gonna be a true twin and runs a camber dominant profile that's pretty much full positive camber, although there's a slight reverse camber blend right at the contact points to mellow things out. You're gonna find a lot of carbon built into this snowboard. You're gonna find some Kevlar built into it. It runs a centered base with structure, but I think the coolest thing about this snowboard is the 3D core profiling. This is something you're gonna notice right away, right from the first glance at this snowboard, and I think really contributes to the overall versatility. It's gonna stiffen up the main body of the snowboard, both lengthwise and torsionally, and give it a nice burly feel as you're out there exploring, doing more all-mountain focused riding. It's not gonna get bucked around even through more rowdy, choppy conditions, and still allow you to get some nice flex in the tips so you can still do some fun butters and flat ground type stuff and offer a nice versatile feel in the park as well. I'd say the flex is on the stiffer side of medium, so it's gonna offer a nice stable and energetic feel to it. It's gonna be a great all around freestyle and park snowboard while still offering the stability you want for just general resort exploring as well. So if you're looking for a very versatile twin, consider the Capita Super DOA. And the third board I wanna highlight is the Season Nexus. This board actually has a directional design to it, so it's gonna have a longer nose and tail outside the contact points, giving the board more surface area up front and helping it float in powder, as well as six millimeters of taper and a 20 millimeter setback. You're also gonna get a camber dominant profile with a small reverse camber release in both the nose and the tail of the snowboard and a centered base. And as far as the overall personality, I'd say this board is a little bit more playful with a flex that's just a little on the softer side of medium. It's a board that you can get some nice flex out of. It's definitely gonna be fun for butters and flat ground type tricks, and really just has a fun all around park flex in my opinion. One thing you wanna pay attention to if you take this board in the park is that directional nose, making sure you're not clipping up on the snow or on features, but it's a lot of fun for all around park laps, whether you're hitting rails or hitting jumps, gonna be capable of stepping up to larger features as well. 
and I think that directionality gives the board a great feel for carving and general resort exploring, as well as offers a nice benefit in powder and soft snow. This is a board that's gonna float really well if you do take it out on a deeper day as well. So this is a board that I plan to spend a good amount of time on when I'm not reviewing other snowboards, and it's just a really fun, versatile choice if you're looking for something that's a little bit more directional. And real quick, before we move on to the last two snowboards on this list, I wanna let you all know that all the boards mentioned in this video are gonna be linked down in the description below where you can read more about them and if you plan to do any shopping online you can use those links to support the channel at no additional cost to you i appreciate it and the fourth board i want to highlight is the burton blossom this one's going to be a true twin and runs a full positive camber profile so it's going to offer that more energetic powerful and locked in feel to it there's a good amount of carbon built into the layup of this snowboard. It's gonna run the Burton channel system for unlimited stance width options, as well as a centered base. This is gonna be another great choice for those of you looking for a versatile and capable twin. I'd say the flex is right around a mid flex or maybe even a little bit on the stiffer side of medium with a very consistent flex throughout the snowboard. It's gonna offer some nice stability for you as you're out there cruising and exploring the resort and maintain a confident feel even at higher speeds. And as it is a true twin, it's gonna be very freestyle friendly. Although I'd say with that stiffer flex, it is a little bit more jump leaning, but still a good time on the rails for you more experienced riders. So if you're looking for a proper freestyle focused snowboard that's still gonna come through with the power and stability that you need for all mountain exploring as well, consider the Burton Blossom. And the final board on this list is the Arbor Westmark Rocker. This one's also gonna be a true twin and runs Arbor's rocker system. So it's gonna have a parabolic profile that's heaviest between the feet and tapers off a little bit closer to the contact points, as well as their grip tech side cut. So you're gonna find some added contact points placed right under your feet on both the toe and the heel edge. It's a very noticeable part of the snowboard and it's gonna help give you more control and grip on icy variable conditions. It also has an ash wood top sheet and a centered base. You're gonna get a solid mid flex in this snowboard, so it's gonna have a sturdy feel as you're out there exploring, but still be very versatile for freestyle focused riding and park laps. That rocker profile is gonna offer a slight benefit in soft snow, as well as give you more leverage for presses and butters, which I think makes it even more versatile for freestyle type riding. And that grip tech really does come in handy and offers a great feel for a more all mountain approach as well. I think all that combined in a true twin shape makes this board a great candidate for this list. So if you're looking for a rocker dominant snowboard that's gonna check all those boxes, consider the Arbor Westmark Rocker. And if you like the sound of this snowboard but you'd prefer that positive camber feel, this board does come in a camber option as well. All right, and those are my top five do-it-all picks for the 22-23 season. Let me know if your favorite snowboard made it on this list. And if you've had a chance to ride any of these boards, leave us your feedback down in the comments below. You can leave any questions for me down there as well. Drop a like if you got some value. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I appreciate all you guys. Thank you for watching today. And I will see you in a new video next time. Take care, everybody.